Number 32, 1949, may be a relatively modest-sized work, yet it packs a very big punch. 1949 was a crucial moment in Pollock's career curve. He moved out to Springs on the eastern tip of Long Island in 1945. The change from the pressures of urban life in Manhattan seemed to bring out the best in Pollock. By 1947, Pollock had begun his famous technique which would revolutionize the whole course of modern art. Pouring, flicking and dripping paint onto canvas or paper laid flat on the floor of the studio. By 1949, he was a total master. In 1949, Jackson Pollock painted a total of 16 enamels on paper. Eight of those enamels only include aluminium metallic paint. Number 32, 1949 is one of them. The work shimmers. The reflective aluminium paint produces a kind of phosphorescence. What Pollock was literally doing was picking up vibes from the landscape around him. And we're here in an outlying building, which was a barn, which Pollock converted to his studio, only a short distance from Akabonak Creek, where the waters of the Atlantic flow into this low-lying land. At heart, Pollock was something of a country boy. He made a big thing from being born in Cody, Wyoming, and having spent his youth in the far west of America. 